Once doubted and delayed, the Tesla Semi is now set to change the transport industry forever. For the first time, an electric truck can go 500 miles on one charge. It can speed up from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds, even while carrying 36 tons of cargo. It's ready to take the place of noisy, polluting diesel trucks. But that's not all. The upcoming second version of the Semi will be faster, stronger, and packed with a unique feature that will amaze truck drivers. Elon Musk has said this feature will change the game, helping transport companies save millions of dollars each year. This would make the Tesla Semi an essential choice for delivery companies. And the most surprising part, when the Giga Semi factory is fully running, Tesla plans to build one Semi every five minutes. The year 2025 will be a big moment, with at least 10,000 semis ready to hit the roads and take over the market. So what makes the second-generation semi so special? What new technologies will allow it to beat diesel trucks completely? And why will businesses lose profits if they don't switch to the Tesla semi? Let's uncover the secrets of this electric super truck now. The Tesla semi factory is moving ahead quickly, maybe even faster than expected. Tesla hopes to boost production by mid-2026 and hit 50,000 trucks per year by the end of that year. But with the current pace, they might begin sooner. A recent video shared by Zangler shows clear signs of fast progress. The new factory is now about 68% complete. The base area in the southwest part is nearly done, and the first rows of steel columns are going up. That means the factory's frame could be built in just a few weeks. The stamping pit, one of the most difficult parts, has already been filled and packed down, showing Tesla is ready to build around it. Also, there are large storage tanks at the site, which raises questions, could Tesla be switching to CATL prismatic batteries instead of the usual 2170 cells? Or maybe those tanks are part of another important part of the production process. At the same time, the drainage system is done, fences are being placed around parking areas, and propane tanks have been put in key spots. These could be for heating or to help concrete dry faster. All of this shows that Tesla is pushing progress hard. When we say Tesla might produce a semi in just five minutes, it sounds unreal, right? We found it hard to believe too. But they just might do it. Usually, making semi trucks takes much longer than passenger cars or small trucks because they are larger and more complicated. This makes full automation harder. Also, fewer semi trucks are made each year compared to regular cars, usually just a few hundred. So spending a lot of money on a fully automatic line is not always worth it. Even more, these trucks are often customized based on customer needs, different engines, suspensions, axle lengths. That means the assembly process must stay flexible, and humans are still needed. However, certain tasks like frame welding, painting, and putting in standard parts can be automated to save time and improve quality. So how can Tesla really build a truck in 5 minutes? It's all because of the massive new factory, combined with the one already running in Nevada. With both sites working together, this level of speed is possible. Elon Musk has said clearly that once the factory is at full speed, it can produce up to 50,000 trucks per year. That's a bold goal, but one Tesla believes in. Also, the Giga Nevada plant doesn't just make the semi, it also builds batteries on site. That means no waiting for battery deliveries, speeding up the assembly process even more. Plus, the electric motors and battery systems in the Tesla semi have way fewer parts than a diesel truck. This makes putting them together much faster. Let's break this down further. If Tesla wants to make 50,000 trucks in one year, that's over 135 trucks each day, more than 5 every hour, or about 1 truck every 10 to 15 minutes. If Tesla keeps improving the process, building a truck every 5 minutes might really happen. But to truly lead the market, Tesla must grow even more. In 2023, around 297,000 Class 8 trucks were sold in the US and Canada. Two big names, Kenworth and Peterbilt, sold 190,000 of those. So while 50,000 per year is amazing, Tesla would need to double production to truly lead. 
Tesla isn't just building trucks, they're changing the entire trucking industry. Big companies like PepsiCo, Walmart, DHL, and Costco have already seen this change and are ready to add the semi to their fleets. Tesla is also preparing to mass-produce the second-generation semi. So far, most semis built are first-generation test models using 2,170 battery cells. Only about 100 trucks have been delivered to buyers. But this is just the start. Dan Priestley, head of Tesla Semi Engineering, has said that full-scale production of the next version will begin once they have enough real-world data and expand the megacharger network. That means the new model might arrive as soon as next year. We don't think Tesla will use CATL batteries. While they're cheaper, they don't offer the high performance needed for the semi. Reports suggest that the second-generation Tesla semi will use 4,680 battery cells instead of 2170s. This move is expected to boost performance and reduce costs. The 4680 battery is Tesla's top choice for high-performance electric vehicles. These 4680 cells have higher energy density, so they offer longer range without needing more batteries. They also charge faster. Their design removes the need for tabs, which cuts down parts, makes the semi lighter, and improves efficiency. These batteries will make the new Tesla semi more affordable, give it longer range, and help it run more smoothly, giving it a big edge over other electric trucks. With around 68% of the Giga semi factory done, the whole picture is becoming clear. This huge 4 million square foot factory, backed by a $3.6 billion investment, will likely make not only the semi but also other vehicles like a Tesla bus, van, or RV. What makes the semi a true revolution isn't just Tesla's ability to build it, it's the amazing new features it brings. There's already a shortage of truck drivers in America. It's a tough job, and fewer people are choosing it. More are leaving than joining. This could cause a big problem for deliveries in the future. Elon Musk stressed that full self-driving will help solve this issue. He mentioned the Tesla Semi will become even better once it includes full self-driving tech, something that might be added by the end of this year. This is important because the Tesla Semi isn't just an electric truck, it's the world's first Class 8 truck with the potential for full self-driving. This is a huge step for long-distance transport. Imagine a truck that can drive most of the route by itself, reducing the stress on drivers. Drivers could supervise and take breaks while the truck keeps moving. Driving a semi-truck is tiring and risky. The constant noise, long hours, and pressure to deliver on time cause fatigue and accidents. Tesla knows this. That's why they're adding full self-driving, not just to improve safety, but also to make truck driving easier and more appealing. When mass production begins and full self-driving is added, drivers won't need to stay behind the wheel for the whole trip. The semi can drive itself for long distances, letting drivers rest. This improves driver health and makes the whole delivery system more efficient. Of course, drivers will still need to take control in certain situations, like heavy traffic or tight parking spots. But one of the biggest strengths of the Tesla Semi is its ability to keep going with little downtime, boosting delivery speed and reliability. Once companies understand that electric trucks are cheaper to run, easier to drive, more powerful, and quicker to accelerate than diesel trucks, they'll switch for good. It may sound hard to believe, but Tesla's already proving it. Elon Musk has said many times that the Tesla Semi isn't just an electric truck, it's a profit machine for the transport world. When we look at the numbers, it's clear. The Semi saves a lot more money than a diesel truck. In 2017, Musk said the Semi's running cost was about 85 cents per mile, compared to $1.51 per mile for diesel. While energy prices change, one thing stays the same, the Semi's amazing efficiency. It uses just 1.6 to 1.7 kilowatt hours of power per mile, better than any other competitor. Big companies like PepsiCo, Costco, Walmart, and DHL have tested their semis and confirmed these numbers. In California, 1.7 kilowatt hour costs about 30 cents per mile. So if a semi drives 6.5 miles, it costs only about $3.30. 
a diesel truck doing the same would burn a gallon of fuel, costing about $3.66. That may not sound like a lot, but over hundreds of thousands of miles each year, the savings are huge. Another big benefit is the semi's simple and efficient design. No gas engine, no complex gearbox, and far fewer parts that can break. Tesla says the semi's maintenance costs are only about 10 cents per mile. Over five years, driving 100,000 miles per year, that's $50,000 in total. A diesel truck, by comparison, would cost about $100,000 over five years, double the cost. And it's not just the money. Diesel trucks need more repairs and take more time off the road. Every maintenance stop means lost deliveries and delays. The Tesla Semi helps reduce that by needing fewer fixes, saving time and money. The Semi isn't just saving money, it's changing long-distance trucking. It can climb a 10% hill at 60 miles per hour with a full load. Diesel trucks carrying heavy loads usually slow to about 30 miles per hour on hills and struggle to go faster without tipping. PepsiCo drivers who've used the semi say they never want to return to diesel. The quiet, smooth ride makes work more relaxing. Some say they want to stay with their companies just to keep driving the Tesla semi. That's a huge shift in the trucking world. Elon Musk has confirmed the semi will be sold worldwide marking a new era of lower emissions, less noise, and better delivery efficiency. Still, some countries face challenges. For example, in Australia, the semi hasn't been approved because of current truck size rules. That could take years to change. One of the semi's greatest strengths is its regenerative braking. Tesla says it recovers nearly all its energy when going downhill, helping it go even farther. In fact, it gets back nearly the same amount of power that it uses while driving normally. This helps drivers who can only drive 8 hours a day. With its current range, the semi fits the needs of most delivery companies. With the next generation of 4,680 battery cells on the way, which have high energy density, the semi's range will only improve. Soon, 600 miles on one charge could be possible, making diesel trucks part of history. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to discover more exciting news about the Tesla Semi or other Tesla vehicles, make sure to like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Car Champions and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest updates. We appreciate your support and can't wait to see you in the next video. Goodbye.